What is going on guys? This is Gospel Gamer here. We are back on Dangan Romper Trigger Happy Havoc. So, first of all, let's check all of the cabinets. This is my first time seeing this shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. It looks like three shelves being connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now, what's that powder that's been spilled all over the shelf? I have to be careful not to step in it. Sorry, not on the shelf on the floor. Okay, so let's look at the bottle. It looks like poison. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? It looks like the bar had a label on it, Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must so have been spilled. That's right, it could only have been built, uh, it could only have been around the time of the incident. If that really is what happened, then it must be related to the case somehow. Okay. F1 first. Let's see, what's on this shelf? There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the red one probably came from this shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labelled with a letter A and a number. So I guess we consider this part of the shelving section A. Hmm, but wait. There's only one there's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Did someone have put this here on accident? What's in, what's in this? B. So on this shelf is it looks like a bunch of chemicals that have no idea what they are. They're re reagents. But simply they're in the they're using experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How you live in such ignorance for so long, you know, it must truly be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? what, you think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? The words, of a, uh, the words of a lifelong loser, which, I suppose, suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labelled with letter B and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelf section B. Hmm, don't see anything out of the ordinary here, in which case I don't think I need to worry about much about this shelf. And this shelf is one look around can tell nothing but dangerous chemicals. These are like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess we can consider this part of the shelving section C. I should try and find out more about this section unit. It looks as if it splits three sections. Section A is dietary supplements, section B is reagents, and section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein power from section A. What concerns me is section A there was a bottle that there. Yeah, a bottle with a label from section C. What was a bottle of poison from section C doing in section A? Definitely something going on here. Okay. Why are there footprints here? These are footprints. And they're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How do those footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out a floor plan. By we, do you mean me? How kind of you to offer? With an insufferable, with an insufferable smirk, you hand me a piece of paper and a pen. Well, let's go. Chop, chop. Okay. So I got to work, and before long, I drew up a sketch of the room. Uh, so how's this? Not bad for you, I mean. For me. So when you look at it like this... Interesting. It would appear that whoever these footprints only had business with the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. These footprints must be... Makoto, are they yours? No. Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. I didn't think a reason not to, so I quietly did what Baikuya hmm. said. I see, your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Unfortunately? Hmm. But with how clear these footprints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. Then these prints really are a valuable clue. Okay. Uh, okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I've already looked at everything else, basically. Uh, hmm. So in up. So, awesome. is that everything? Okay. Check all these again. Okay. Um. Oh, there we go. I can actually just. Okay. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered across the floor. I better not leave a footprint. I should probably take a good hard look at the powder. 
There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor and the shelf. There's also remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled chemical C4. Also, it looks like someone left some footprints in the powder. Based on the positioning of the prints, whoever it was went, only went to the left side of the shelf. According to Biocuria, the powder would, would have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Cool. I've already taken a good long look at the chem lab. Maybe I should go take another look around the rec room. Okay. Wah, wah. I can't remember which floor the rec room is on. Second floor, maybe? Second or is it third floor? Ah, that's it. Hey. So Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko what Toko and Hiro had told me. I see. I see. So long by Kyo, they're both claiming they didn't go to see her. It's obviously convenient, like someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. Well, I made some progress on my own. Sakura's body, the shelf magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You do well to look at them over one more time. Okay, let's do dead body first. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Just Sakura's body. Just staring off into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Well, maybe, I know, but... Hey. Don't you think it might actually need to examine the body? <sighs> there's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recall the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although there are still some times... I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times you see a dead body, I can't get used it's to it. True. That's totally normal. Then how can you... So... I'm just because I've plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Her shoes? Right. Is that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. That powder is clue number one. Okay. Hey. Next to the wound on the head, look it's carefully. True. Actually, even telling you it's incredibly difficult to spot, so let, let me just explain. It, seem... it appeared that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Two blows? Oh, why am I getting her my voice? Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. So that's what I've learned from examining her body in detail. Okay. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at the body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. The magazine stand she mentioned. Kyoko said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm, clue, clue. Huh? This magazine's totally upside down. Someone put it back at, uh, that way on accident? Hey. Someone catches your eyes. It's important for you to explore that, idea, uh, explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted that magazine and flipped through it. This is... On the point pages near the center of the magazine had the word written in blood, bold bloody letters. And it said, Toko. Could this be a dying message? Then it would appear we found it. Kyoko, is this? So... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message? However... But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might become looking. Um... Hey, is that... That's just Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. What the heck? Then, <clears throat> then she's a killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. But... It's said if she's a killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I can see why you think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me that much more suspicious. Okay. I reckon it's her. I reckon it's Aoi for some reason. I don't know what it is about. I just reckon it's her. I think Kyoko said she'd found another clue in clue. Fuck me, words. I think Kyoko said she'd found another clue involving the Monokuma bottles. Something new, something new. Hmm. The pieces they're holding. So, did you figure it out yet? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you're sure to find it. Correlation. Hmm. Hey, Kyoko, can you just tell me what it is? I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer? I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree? Okay. 
Actually, there is one other thing about the Monokuma Bolas that's bothering me. Let's do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment? Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces too. Uh, are you are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious BioQ is not here, so, so anyway. I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. With that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what it is, what this is about, but what choice do I have? I better just do it. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. And just after I finished up, sorry to keep you waiting. Is everything ready? Then let's get ready to work. Let's get to work. So, what kind of experiment are we doing? I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to, need to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? The pieces of glass you collected and the ones from the Lancuna bo bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare what the weight of the two of the normal monocuban bottles. It's balanced. Words, which means each monocuban bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. The monocuban figures inside are basically the same and nothing else can really affect the weight. So then. Now, here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on, the, on one side of the scale. Now what might we ex yeah. now what might we expect to see? Well the normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I picked up will be lighter. I did my best to get the mold, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay, then let's give it a try. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier? How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words. The results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottle put it all together, and I believe you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So, what do you think? Is it, it's all on you? I have no idea. Well, that came a lot sooner than previously. Me sleeping. Your investigation was just wow. so boring. I couldn't stay awake. Wow. Can I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay. Then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. Bye, Monokuma. It's already time, but the mystery of the locked locker room the yeah, locked room is only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. Right. So I'm going to end the episode here so we can start next time on the class trial. Uh, so if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. If you want to see more of this, then do subscribe to the channel as I upload every day. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.